Hello folks, Mundane Man here again. And I had a little surprise this morning when I got into my uh, Jeep Patriot. And it's a common problem with lots of vehicles with a sunroof. I had a nice little drip coming through the overhead uh, interior light there. So one of the main reasons for that is these sunroofs, they love to uh, leak and the drains inside that uh, allow the water that gets in these gaps to drain off sometimes get plugged. So I'm just gonna take you through how I uh, clear that problem out. So uh, let's get at it. Okay, so I've opened the sunroof uh, all the way and what you may not be able to see, what I'll try and point out, are two drain holes on either side. One here, one on the opposite side that uh, allow the water to drain off it gets in this channel here because the seals on these will sometimes dry out and shrink and the water still needs to get away somewhere. So these drains go down fairly far. They, they probably go all the way down to the bottom of the windshield and hood shroud. And so you need something long, but uh, it can't be too stiff to because the, the path isn't always straight. So what I like to use is some of this stuff. This is the, uh, you know, your common weed whacker or uh, uh, whipper snipper, whatever you call it. That's the, the nylon uh, string that you use for that. So I like to cut off a long piece of it and I just feed it down the hole and uh, try and clean out the ports to make sure everything's draining off. And uh, now that the, this thing is parked outside most of the time, I'll probably need to do this more often because there's going to be more sediment on the roof from trees and whatever. So. Um, that's why it's probably plugged up now. I've done this once before, but the vehicle was mostly garage kept. So, um, you know, not a lot of buildup, but now there is, so I'm going to clean it out. Okay, so I cut myself off about six feet of this uh, nylon string or twine, and I'm just going to start feeding it down this drain hole here. And you just fish it through. Sometimes you'll feel a bit of a blockage. You just keep working it through. Keep going. And I'm feeling some resistance going all the way down. So there's definitely something in there. So you need something that's flexible enough, but also um, got enough uh, stiffness to it that you can feed it all the way through and uh, you know, something strong like a coat hanger or a piece of wire may not do the trick. That's why I find this nylon works really well. So just keep feeding it through. Seem to have caught on something. I may be at the bottom of the drain because I can't seem to feed it through any further. How much did I go in with? So I went in probably with about four feet and it seemed to get to the bottom of the windshield and I'm just going to do it again and it's feeding through there nice and easy now oh I must have pushed something through because I've got a lot more cord in there So I did get through a little bit further the second time, so let's feed it down one more time, make sure we got it all cleared out. Yeah, I must be at the bottom now because I can't get anything through. Okay, well let's go do the passenger side uh, and we'll pour some water down there and see how it works out. Now onto the passenger side and we'll feed it through just like we did the other side. I'm feeling some resistance again too, so good chance something's plugged up in there. Seems to be going in pretty smooth now. I think I reached the end of the... how much did I put in there? Yeah, that looks like about four to five feet, same as the other side. Let's feed it through again. 
that seems to be the bottom. Now the test will be is I'm going to pour some water down there and make sure it comes out the bottom. I think it ends up draining down the bottom of the uh, the fender wells and uh, same probably the same path that the uh, um, the windshield or hood cowl takes when it's draining off water too. Okay I got my water maker 2000 here so let us pour some water down in the track here and let's see what happens. Ah, hear that suction? I don't know if you heard that on the camera, but it sucked like a nice drain. And if we go down below here and look, I heard the water coming out somewhere. It's hard to see under there, but there's water coming out from uh, the drain port. So it looks like on this side anyways, we've got the problem licked. <clears throat> Let's head over to the other side and pour some water down there. Okay, let's try the driver's side now. And it drained like nobody's business too. So no water sitting in the track, it all drained off. And I heard it coming out the bottom here too. Probably, oh yeah, you can see a puddle of water there. So, I think we got that problem licked. Now, just as regular sunroof maintenance, I'm going to put some lubrication on uh, this seal here. It is kind of dry, so hopefully it'll seal off a little bit better um, around the edge here. And um, I think I'll clean out some of the, the gunk on here with some brake clean and then re-lube it up with some uh, lithium grease. Okay, I'm just going to clean out the clean off the rubber here with some spray nine. It's just kind of a general general or heavy-duty cleaner if you will, so it should uh, get whatever grunge is on that seal here. Now the way these uh, sunroofs have a nice flush fit on them, it's hard to get the gasket all the way around so I'm going to be mostly focused on the front uh, when the vehicle's on the driveway it's kind of pointing forward anyways and that's where the water is, is running um, so hopefully this will seal it up enough I'm going to use the spray 9 on the tracks as well because it's a, a good degreaser brake clean works as well or anything that's good to uh, take off some heavy dirt and, and uh, grease from the track You always want smooth operation of a sunroof. It doesn't take much to burn out the motors in them and then you got bigger problems. And usually when the motor quits, it's wide open. Never happens when it's closed. Might be better to use a cloth instead of a, a paper towel. There's lots of sharp edges here. That the paper just shreds and then you got little bits of shredded paper everywhere. That's it. Blow it right into the car. That's good for it. Okay, to grease the track, I'm just going to use some uh, white lithium grease. Um, this has a uh, high heat and it's a good lubricant, won't melt, and it's good on high friction surfaces, which is obviously this is because the the glass is sliding on that track constantly. So let's just grease some of that up. You can get spray lithium grease too that you could probably just spray in here. I'm just going to smear some on the tracks. Try and get it on any of the slide points. I'll just lay that down there like that. Try and get inside the inner track here too.
Now this is probably something you should do every year just to keep everything lubricated. I've been like negligent in that where I've only done this like two or three times. It's also the, the gear track in here. Maybe get some grease on that. That's what pulls the window back and forth. And get the excess off my in, uh, rubber gasket there. Now I'm just going to go do the other side and then we'll operate the uh, sunroof a couple times, get that grease moved in. Okay, let's run it back and forth a few times. Seems to work pretty good now. So let's just uh, lubricate that gasket or the rubber seal around the window as best we can. And that should be the end of uh, sealing up that uh, sunroof again. Okay, so while I'm doing the spraying stuff on a rag, I started over, over there for a cloth, spraying the silicone spray and rubbing it on the gasket. The idea is just to keep this gasket soft so that it, uh, when it presses up against the uh, vehicle, it's uh, still got some give to it and causes a nice seal to happen up against the roof. Like I said, it probably wouldn't hurt to do this at least once a year. This stuff is quick drying, but it's uh, stay on there wet all the time. Give it another spray. Okay, now I'm going to close it and put it in vent mode, which will tip the back side up, so I should be able to get a lot of the gasket. I think I said earlier it's tough to get some, uh, get it a hundred percent, but uh, you know you're going to get most of it with this uh, silicone spray. Okay, now that we've uh, opened and closed the sunroof a few times, the last thing I'm going to do is just wipe off some of the excess grease that was left behind, because obviously it's not uh, touch points by the mechanism. So we'll just clean that up, keep it lubricated. The inside of these tracks is probably the most important place to get grease into. And the gear set down there too. So keep it nice and clean. And we'll do the same on the passenger side. Main thing is to keep uh, the tracks nice and clean so there's no binding. Uh, the good news is if there is something binding in here the uh, sunroof will stop automatically. At least it does on uh, this Jeep. And I'm pretty sure most sunroofs are the same. Okay, so we've gotten rid of all of our excess grease. Put some uh, silicone lubricant on the gasket so that uh, it stays nice and soft and seals well against the body and we've cleaned everything out. So this thing should not leak anymore. And of course the main thing was cleaning out those drains because if they can't keep up with the water flow it's just going to build up in the track and then find a way to spill in. And for this particular vehicle it likes to come in through the uh, the uh, dome light that's at the, just above the windshield there. Well that's it for this edition of Mundane Man where we cleaned out the drains on the sunroof to prevent water from spilling inside the vehicle. Uh, in my case through the dome light who knows where it'll end up in yours. Uh, these Jeeps, uh, I, don't, I don't know, maybe that's a, a feature where you can see the water dripping through your dome light and you know that uh, something's up with your sunroof. 
And we also lubed up the tracks for the sunroof, keep it moving nice and smooth, and then put some silicone spray on the gasket so that it seals well against the body. The better you can keep that seal, the least amount of water will go down those drains and you know prevent it backing up and spilling inside the vehicle. So that's it. We'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we shall see you later. Bye-bye.